Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, January 9th. <laughs> Always forget the dates. But yeah, so I didn't make a video yesterday and I thought I'd come on today so people didn't think I was in labor. Whenever I do go into labor, I will definitely post or my husband will or my sister, someone will. <laughs> It'll at least be a community post to let you guys know so that you're not worried. But yeah, anyways, today I thought that I would join along with some other people who are doing a hashtag collab thing <laughs> uh, to use up patterns from your library. So it was started by Terry at Your Android Podcast. Um, well, actually, she found it, I think, on a Facebook group years ago, and then she started it on her channel. And uh, then this year, her and Rebecca from Yarning Pajamas have been doing it together, like uh, collaborating together. And then also, I know Priscilla from Distinctive Crochet has also joined along. So I thought I would join along too. So it's going to be um, Stitcher Library, number one, for me. And um, I have a ridiculous amount of patterns saved up, like I think most of us do. I have probably thousands on my computer. And I have all kinds of crochet books and printed off patterns and, you know, just all kinds of patterns. <laughs> and, um, you know, I downloaded them for a reason. So I want to uh, make some of them. So I decided to do that last night. I was sitting in here watching TV, relaxing. And um, I got my binder out that I have a bunch of patterns I printed in and I found one that I haven't made yet and I went ahead and made it while watching TV. So it's an amigurumi <laughs> and uh, it's a Halloween one but I'll have it ready for Halloween this year. But it is The Cauldron by Pixie Marie Crates. There it is. It is a cauldron <laughs> and uh, I didn't put the face on it because I'm gonna make a witch to like put beside it like it's her cauldron you know. But there it is. It's so cute. <laughs> so this is a paid for pattern. And I believe you have to buy a bundle. She has a Halloween bundle with a cute little ghost that I made. Uh, the cauldron. I think a candy corn and a cat maybe. I can't remember all of them. But I'll link it below if you want to check it out. Because you can never be too prepared for the holidays. <laughs> and um, I used a H hook which is a 55 millimeter, And the yarns that I used. This top part is Red Heart Super Saver Glow Worm. This gray is Red Heart Super Saver as well. I don't remember where I put the ball band. It was a real floppy skein, and then after I made it, I wound the rest of it into a uh, scrap ball. And I laid the ball band somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> but I think it might be heather gray, because it kind of looks heathered. But I'm not sure. But it is a red heart. It's so cute. I made this in about an hour. I was watching an episode of a crime show. <laughs> and um, you make the top part first, and then you make the cauldron and the little pieces. It's got little legs. Hers, like I said, does have like a felt face, and I decided not to do that because I want to make a little witch to put beside it as a decoration um, closer to Halloween. I just, this thing is so cute. came out a good size too. It's pretty big. I like it a lot. But it's a really simple pattern, so I'll link it below if you want to check it out. And uh, I made the ghost too from that bundle, and it's so cute. I love that ghost. But there's my first Stitch My Library. I've had this pattern for, gosh, I think she came out with it in 2020. 2020 maybe 2019 <laughs> I can't remember it's been uh, two or three years um, she gifted it to me the set and I made the ghost right away because I loved it and um, I think it was 2020 and uh, I've been wanting to make the cauldron and I finally did it so that's my first saved pattern that I made so I'm proud of myself that I made it and I have a whole bunch on my computer so now usually when I, I get like the urge to make something I go to like Ravelry and start searching, but now I'm going to try to search my patterns first because I have them actually really nicely organized on my computer because I'm a very organized person. So um, I have them organized in categories, so I need to just start going in there and pulling pattern patterns out that I've downloaded or bought um, and use them because, you know, I've, I've saved them for a reason that I wanted to make them. So I'm pretty proud of myself. So that was my first one. I'm going to keep a track of it. I got um, who originated it, you know, Terry and all. And, Rebecca and Priscilla. I wrote down like a synopsis of what it was about in case I forget. <laughs> and then number one was the cauldron. I wrote down all the information. That way later this year, the end of this year, I can like come back and um, see what I all did. I put the dates that I made the cauldron and the day that the video came out, which would be today, which I think is the ninth, for sure. And then I already put number two there. So I'm ready to find another pattern to um, work on from my stash. I'm getting a ton of notifications, <laughs> but oh, anyways, that was distracting me, but I'm excited. I'm proud of myself for doing one. So this is my Stitch My Library number one. I did it, and it worked out really cute. This is like blown out big time. I love Glowworm. I wish I still made it. 
uh, I used just a little bit for this, but the rest of it I'm saving because I want to put it in a cardigan eventually. But there's my cauldron. So that's what I made for my first stitch in my library. <laughs> uh, hopefully, uh, maybe some of you, it might inspire some of you guys to do the same thing because I know, I think it's common. You know, we hoard yarn and hooks and things, so we also hoard patterns. We need to go back and use them <laughs> so that we can, uh, you know, we locked them for a reason, so we need to make them and enjoy them. This is going to be so cute setting out for Halloween this year. And uh, I thought about maybe trying to make some bubbles to put on top. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe some lights, even like Dollar Tree lights. They uh, sell around the holidays. It would be cute. I don't know. I'll figure that out when it gets closer to Halloween. <laughs> but it's cute and it's ready to go. So now I need a witch pattern. I have a few witch patterns in my um, stash. <laughs> so I need to pull one out and use it for this. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to hop off here. <laughs> and I will see you guys um Hopefully soon. I'm trying to think. Tuesday will be a No Catch Name episode. I don't know if I have anything planned for tomorrow. I can't think. Maybe a vlog because I am going to the LB tomorrow and I'm supposed to get an ultrasound. And they're also going to hook me up to the monitor again, the belly monitor. I think they're checking for contractions because she's had no issues with her heart or anything. So uh, I think they're just doing that, checking for contractions. We'll see. <laughs> but I might vlog that. Um, Hopefully, get some decent pictures. <laughs> she has not been cropped up at all this whole entire pregnancy to get good um, ultrasound photos. We've only ever seen her little profile once. <laughs> and uh, that was at like 14 weeks. So her face has changed a lot since then. Um, she should be putting fat on right now. So I would love to see her little face. <laughs> but uh, all the 3D ultrasounds anywhere near us are like three hours away and I don't want to take a trip that long when I'm this far into pregnancy so I hate to go into labor away from my midwives <laughs> um could be scary to you know be around people that I don't know but yeah so hopefully she cooperates and I get a decent picture but I'm pretty sure she's dropped so she's gonna be down there so I don't know how good of a picture he could get of her <laughs> but uh anyways we'll see what we do and, uh, yeah, there might be some kind of crochet video coming out soon. I don't know. For sure Tuesday. Because I'm going to try to make Tuesdays the days that I do no kitchen name episode episodes. <laughs> and then Wednesdays. So we watch work on Wednesdays. And then we'll go from there. <laughs> try to be consistent. But, yeah. Anyways, I'm blabbing now. So, I'll see you guys in another video whenever it comes out. Bye, guys.